Stephen Owens grew up in what many consider to be the perfect Christian family. The family went to church every Sunday, rarely ever missing a service. Stephen's mom, Gail, sang in the church choir. His dad, Ron, coached the men's basketball team. But one Sunday night in February 1985, Stephen and the family went to church, and when they came home, Stephen went in the house first. When I walked in the house that night, I um, knew something was wrong. And uh, when I got into the house and found my father laying on the floor, my, my heart went to my, my stomach. He discovered his father on the floor, beaten, bloody, barely breathing. When I rolled him over, all I could do was just hear him gasping for life. Authorities discovered that it was Stephen's own mother, Gail Owens, who had hired a hitman in downtown Memphis to murder Stephen's father. Gail was taken to prison. She was later sentenced to death. And I realized that now, not had I just lost one parent, I'd lost both. It led to a lot of anger, resentment, became anxiety about where would we live, who would raise us. Following Stephen's mom's imprisonment, he and his brother were raised by his Aunt Carolyn. They grew up in that home, continued going to church, but they had nothing to do with their mother. As far as Stephen and his brother were concerned, his dad was a hero and his mother was a villain with whom they wanted nothing to do. It was almost as though his mother was dead. Eventually, Stephen married and moved to Nashville, Tennessee. He thought he'd never see his mother again, or maybe, just maybe, there might be something that would bring them back together again. After my family and I moved to Nashville, and I began teaching in school, I had a, a fellow teacher come to me and, and tell me that he had been ministering to my mother in prison for over 15 years. That stirred in me a desire and a question that God was giving me. How could I teach my son forgiveness if I hadn't even forgiven my mother? After Gail Owens had been in prison for more than 20 years, a group of people rallied around her, people who believed in Gail, people who said, this is a good woman, an intelligent woman, an articulate woman. This woman cares for the people even in prison. She shouldn't be put to death. As a matter of fact, her sentence ought to be commuted and on the basis of several legal points. I decided to um, go in and see my mom in prison for the first time in over 20 years. Um, she told me that she could not change anything, but that she was sorry. And I told her what God had sent me there to tell her that day was that she had been forgiven. Days later, what I realized was that I felt a desire to fight for mom's life. Friends of Gail rallied and continued to do all they could to draw attention to the injustice that had taken place in Gail's original court trial and what had happened over the years. Finally, finally, Governor Bredesen commuted Gail's sentence to life in prison. I was overcome with, with great emotion as I realized that uh, my mother and I would be able to continue a relationship that had been broken for over 20 years. Gail's sentence was commuted to life, but she was still in prison. And like many, she probably would remain in prison for the remainder of her days. But on the very first opportunity when Gail came up for parole, the parole board saw the merits in Gail Owens being released. And today, Gail Owens is living as a free woman. As I was standing there the day that Mother was released with media all around me, I focused on her as she walked out of the prison and realized that now our relationship could start to move forward. Gail's release drew national attention. This was a woman that was going to die. She would have been the first woman in 180 years to have been put to death in Tennessee. Now she was free, but not just free to live her life. She was free to help other people. Gail got a job in an organization that helps other women who've gone through difficult times. She's now helping other people to put their lives back together on the right track. Amazingly though, it wasn't just Gail Owens who needed to be set free. Her son, Stephen Owens, needed to be set free as well. I realized that my mother and I both need to be set free. My mother from the walls of a prison. I needed to be set free from the burden of resentment and anger that I had carried for many years. 
The story set free exceeds the normal murder story type of book. This book goes far beyond that to talk about the need for forgiveness, for reconciliation, the bringing together of a family. Only God can bring about that kind of forgiveness, that kind of restoration. A lot of people go through tough times. Every one of us are carrying a heavy load. People have been hurt, they've been wounded. There's a need for forgiveness and reconciliation in every one of our lives. Stephen Owens and Gail Owens have found what it means to be set free. The story that we've written, the whole intention of this is to help somebody else find the freedom that only God can bring. But when he brings that forgiveness, when he brings that reconciliation, you find that you are free and free indeed.